So joined by uh, John Jackson, who's the head of girls and ladies football at the uh, club. Uh, John, we see the uh, return of the Mates United uh, ladies team. How, uh, how important is that for you to get that re-established? I think it's vital for us, really. I mean, we have a thriving girls section, as you know, going right through from under nines up to under 15s. Uh, very shortly, those girls would have had nowhere to go as we keep moving on year on year. Uh, it's important we have a joined up player pathway. Uh, it gives those girls something to aspire to. We, as you know, we look to filter girls into the regional talent clubs and help them progress along that pathway to England places where we can. But it's important that we have a fully joined up pathway within the club as well. And, and at some stage, maybe we'll be, a, we'll be there too. How important is it, do you think, to have a, a first team ladies team back under the Mates United umbrella? Uh, after two years? It's, it's a massive thing. You know, it's somewhere, you know, when you come over here on a Friday and you see all the girls, and it was the one thing that was missing. It's fantastic. It's nice to be playing with everyone again, getting everyone back. Uh, it's nice to just be the social side of it, getting competitive, just getting stuck in really. It's going to be a good season to do that. Um, over the moon. Some of us have been to different clubs. We've had a few seasons out. So for us to be back as Maidstone and the majority of the old team here, it's brilliant. I mean, I think if the team hadn't got back together, I probably wouldn't have come back to football. So for me, this is great. And um, to re-establish it is... It's brilliant. I mean, you saw the amount of people who come today to watch, the amount of girls who are interested, the, the girls that, you know, they wanted to be um, mascots and that. It's, um, you know, look up to these uh, ladies and every year that passes, they get closer to getting into that ladies' side and progressing their, their football, everything that they've learned right the way through their junior sections. They can then execute it in the ladies' team in their hometown. It is, it is, it's massive, it's massive for any club anywhere really, but here, with the way that the structure of the club is completely, I mean, it's just, it, it, it doesn't make any sense not to have it. Maidstone is obviously having so much success on the men's side and it's becoming a real centre, a real focal point for the town. What we'd like to do with the girls and the ladies is to emulate that, to make this a real thriving centre of excellence in inverted commas uh, for ladies football and to draw people in from all the surrounding areas, to draw the females in and hopefully in the long run to be able to draw support for that that's substantial as well and maybe again earns revenue for the club. It's, it's an important thing and we're glad to be a part of that. And what are you, what are you hoping for this, uh, for this next season? Um, like I say, we haven't played together for a couple of seasons now, so it'd be really nice to get our shape back, get playing again together this season. Hopefully we want to do really well, we want to, want to put ourselves back on the map. Um, get through it confidently, hopefully win all of our games, just build a bit of confidence back up. Obviously we've got a few new players, so get that back up and running, it should be good. We'd like to win the lead of, league, of course, and it's a realistic opportunity for us now with a strong squad, so promotion, maybe a cup. That's what we're striving for, so we'll see. You know, if we continue doing what we're doing, it, it could be a quite interesting season for us. But um, the main main concern is to make sure we get into a good position into the league and hold that. And uh, we got the cup games, and uh, my eye has been taken slightly towards the the uh, the cup games and maybe the latter stages of uh, cup competitions in uh, in the county. We've seen obviously Rio 16 in the last uh, couple of weeks inspire a next generation of athletes. Are you still finding that, uh, that Canada 2015 is still doing the same for the ladies game? Oh, very much so. There's been an exponential increase since I've started in the girls and ladies game year on year. I, mean, I think, you know, the, the teams that are higher up, like the Chelsea's, the Manu's, obviously England women as well are doing really well. So, yeah, it does, you do get, you know, it's kind of a back burner off that. It's nice to be able to be on the back of it. I think the, the inspirations of those, those players who put an England shirt you know, the, you, I think the last World Cup, you know, when they, they sort of opened up a little bit more and you learnt a little bit more about the, about the players, about the personalities, the, the conflicts that they went up to, it's, it's no different to most of these girls here, you know, and um, they, they can gain some confidence from that and, uh, and, and keep applying their trade and, and, and feel that they can do that without any like, prejudices and that. It's, uh, what they can achieve is massive. You say the bulk of the, uh, the 2014 squad are, uh, are back, as you mentioned, but there are some the newbies as well. How, how are they fitting in? Yeah, great. It's always nice to have some younger legs, some fresh legs. Um, everyone in the squad is very talented, so 
everyone's fitting really well. We've just kind of clicked back. Everyone's enjoying the football that they're playing. So yeah, it's really nice to have a few new faces. And we always encourage, especially the youngsters and some newer faces to come in because it really sort of freshens up the squad. We've got established a good group and assembled a good group of players, the nucleus of a good group of players. And we've got some good young players coming in as well. With being able to bring through our own youngsters from under 16s and under 18s, that of course will only strengthen the pool that we have to choose from. And there's nothing worse than having talented youth players coming through and then losing them to other clubs. So to have a ladies team here for them to strive to get into is great. And as I say, we always welcome fresh legs. So it's really nice to have a youth set up here and it is a really good setup. So the girls will do great. Hopefully, you know, we can carry on and be successful, gain more of an interest, get, get, get more support, get more sponsorship and, and become a, a lot bigger unit for the, for the club in, in general. Exciting times uh, for you. Where, if um, people want to come and watch some some games on a Sunday afternoon, whereabouts will you be? And currently, who are you going to be playing. Currently, we'll be playing at the uh, the new 4G when it's completed at the Cobdown Sports Club in Ditton. And some of the teams we'll be playing against will include Alsford Reserves, uh, Margate, Anchorians, Vinters, Castle Coach. So quite a few local derbies in there as well.